Ali Shahin in the coaching corner with her. Russia, well, Tatiana Kudashova Russian being dragged over by the young volunteer there. Well done to him. I'm sure Kudashova won't want to be bullied in any way when it comes to the match. He manages a, a rueful smile. But this one is a real toss of the coin stuff. Hakiji Kubla Ulgun against Tatiana Kurashova, the world silver medalist from Manchester, of course, in fine form. Youth Olympian back in the day as well. Can she make it to her first ever senior Olympic Games? Final thoughts and instructions in both coaching corners. Testing times on the protectors, but the big test, of course, who can make it in to the final? Nada Laraj of Morocco waiting there. Panapar Harsujin of Thailand down and out with that bronze. But which of these two will be going for gold in the women's under 57s? Well, we get to find out. Hatije Kubra Ulgun, the taller of the two. Stands at 1 meter 75, could I show about 5 centimeters shorter? Ilgun and Blue with that front leg to the body. Yeah, could I show about very much on the defensive here, leaning on that back foot. Getting her head out of the road, nice flick to the body though. Turns defence into attack with great speed. <laughs> From leg to the face as well, draws the acclaim of the crowd. But not the points in the board, oh so close for Kudashova. Well, Ali Shahin advising the getting close to that clinch there, try and work in the short distance. <laughs> We'll deep into the last minute now, last 40 seconds of the first round. Couple to the good for the Russian, rushed into that lead. And front right to the face, also close there. Good shot on the inside from Hatiji Kubra Ulgun. And the toughness of the Turk showing down the stretch here. Could have shown a nice little fake, trying to draw something out. And this overhead view shows you the distance nicely. Not much of a gap in terms of the scoreboard. Front leg to the face, well blocked. And we can block off this first round in the books. Two points shared. Much to fight for in this second semi final. Men's under 57s. Excuse me, men's under 68 is what we call this one. This, of course, women's 57s. And following that will be the women's 67s and above. This is Tamar Kirkan in terms of who is coming up. After this one, it will be Ide Hood of Korea against Great Britain's Christian McNeish. So much to fight for for the British fighter going up against the legendary Korean. That one will be followed by Mirashim Hosseini of the Islamic Republic of Iran against Edeval Pontes of Brazil. That's the men's 68s. Women's 67 and above. Well, they meet again. Bianca Walton and Maria Espinosa will be the first out. And it will be Svetlana Osipova against Zheng Shuyen in the second semi-final. 
But speaking of second semi-finals, round two of the under 57s. Kudashova started quickly in the first round. But Elgin showing her strength, particularly in that close distance. So timing, of course, here in this first round. Both fighters looking for options in the second as well. Four points on the board. An equal split so far. And there's that <laughs> rush into the, the close distance. Tiji <laughs> Ulgun trying to get into the clinch. Obviously worked on that with Ali Shahin, the coach. Worked well in the first round. Halfway through the second. Oh, the clock ticking on this one. A real stalemate, of course. Neither fighter reaching the distance, blocking the attempts there with the front leg. Kudashova fakes, draws it out. Front leg counter there from Kudashova, also close, well blocked from Ilgun. Last 30 seconds, there's that step into the distance again. So about the headshot over the shoulder. In terms of competitive action, not much to report in this second round stalemate. As we creep towards the last 10 seconds. Good front leg to the face there, also close from Kudashova. Likewise, the response there from Hakiji Ilgun smacks it home to the jaw there. Perfect timing. And speaking of timing, the end of the second round. Lovely shot to the face. An absolute beauty there from Ilgun. Well, she almost ate one there from Kudashova. It was all over for her. Ilgun landing an absolute peach. Landing herself three points over the lead here. Well, it was textbook timing there. Wonderful shot there from Ilgun. The flexibility. Kudashova didn't see it. Flicks it up. Lands perfectly. Well, she was the more aggressive of the two in that second round. It was that counter kick that paid off. So all to play for. If you are just joining us, Parapa Harstogin of Thailand was defeated. Nada Laraj rocking into the final. Who's going to join her at the moment? Well, Turkey with the marginal advantage, that excellent headshot, three-point lead here in the third round. Kudashova slowing the pace, trying to get into the close distance. Kubra Ulgun, the world silver medalist, very, very good on that front leg counter. So Kudashova is going to have to change things up now. Back leg turn kick, well blocked. Front to the body. Certainly going for it now, the Russian. I'm really impressed with the way that Ilgun covers that ground. Got to be brave to run into that clinch. Can she clinch a Grand Prix final here? Well, a minute and some change now in the third round. Can Kudashova change her fortunes? Draws out the back kick. And the Russian's going to have to summon up all her stamina here. Tries the fake. Chop kick well blocked. Good from Kudashova on the inside. A real battle opening up now. Creeping towards the last 30 seconds now in this one. Three points of a difference. Atiji Kubra Ulgun on the defensive. Kudashova, the Russian, caught in the clinch. Is she going back with bronze? Can she find an answer? 
Good block there from the Turks, sees it coming. Strong refereeing as well, keeping it flowing. Excellent from Ilgun, steps into the clinch, uses the shoulder to step back. Back around the corner, 10 seconds to go. Nada Laraja of Morocco waits in the final, lovely footwork there. Hakiji Kuba Ilgun sees it coming, she'll take the gam jump. Is there enough time for Kudashova? Or is it all over for Kudashova? Four seconds to go, good push kick to the body from Ilgun. She'll take another gam jump. She will, in fact, take a spot in the final. The Russian coach deciding not to play the card. And by the merest of margins, it will be Morocco going against Turkey. Much to look forward to in that under-57 matchup.